Hello mga sangkay! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bao ka pa lang po, welcome to Simply Sherry, where I simplify big ideas for you. If you like contents like this, hit the subscribe button. In this video, ay pag-uusapan natin ang mga lessons na natutunan ko from reading the book, Why Men Love Bitches. Ang complete title ng best-selling novel na ito ay Why Men Love Bitches From Doormat to Dream Girl. A Woman's Guide to Holding Her Own in a Relationship. This was published in 2002 by a well-known author, Sherry Argov. Kapangalan ko pa siya, ha? Okay, so, ano nga ba ang matututunan ninyo at bakit importante ang librong to sa mga buhay ninyo? Eh, marami mo nung kayong ginagawa. Okay, so, in this book, you can learn that a bitch is an empowered woman who derives tremendous strength from ability to be an independent thinker particularly in a world that still teaches women how to be self-abnegating. This woman, yung bitch na dito sa libro na to, doesn't live in someone else's standards, only her own. This is the woman who plays by her own rules, who has a feeling of confidence, freedom, and empowerment. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang siya basta yung babae na kung anong sabihin ng society sa kanya, yun ang gagawin niya, no. She holds her own in a relationship. Kaya mas lalong na in love sa kanya ang lalaking nandiligaw or nakakagusto sa kanya. So let's find out the lessons from this video. Una po dyan, let's identify what a bitch really is. Okay, so a bitch according to the book is not a female dog. Alright? A bitch for Sherry Argov is an, a woman who won't bang her head against the wall, obsessing over someone else's opinion, be it a man or anyone else in her life. She understands that if someone does not approve of her, it's just one person's opinion. Therefore, it is of no real importance. She doesn't try to live up to anyone else's standards, only her own. Because of this, she relates to a man very differently. So yung bitch, according to Sherry Argob, sa libro na to, is... New and improved bitch. Hindi yung masamang bitch. Hindi yung masamang ugali na babae. No. She is not abrasive or mean. Or does she nag to get what she wants? Hindi. She speaks her actions and she's only a bitch when she has to be. One of the most telling signs that a woman has arrived at being a bitch is she's not obsessed with pleasing a man or anyone other than herself. Ibig sabihin, hindi na niya kailangang i-please ang lalaki, okay, yung mag, maging ibang tao para lang magustuhan siya ng isang lalaki, no. Para kay Sherry Argov, a bitch is not like that. A bitch for Sherry Argov is also known as B-I-T-C-H or a babe in total control of herself. So, tingnan nyo, makakaiba yung meaning ng bitch dito, ba? So, are you a bitch? Are you a girl who's in total control of herself? Or, are you a nice girl? Let's find out what a nice girl is according to Sherry Argov. A nice girl for, from the book is a woman who will overcompensate, giving everything to a man she barely knows without him having to invest much in a relationship. Yung nice girl dito, yung babae who, good, who gives blindly because she wants too much attention. She wants the attention she gives to a man to be reciprocated. Okay? She's the woman who goes along with him, what she thinks her man will like or want, because she wants to keep the relationship at all costs. So, kahit anong gusto ng uh, lalaking karelasyon niya, yun ang gagawin niya. Diba? Yun ang nice girl. At some point in our lives, tayo mga babae, naging nice girl din tayo, just because we want to keep the relationship going. Kahit na hindi na nagkakaroon ng respeto para sa sarili natin. So, para kay Sherry Argov, it's now the best time to ditch the nice girl and be the bitch or the babe in total control of herself. Alright, so isa sa mga attraction principle na nagustuhan ko from this book is this one. Anything a person chases in life runs away. Okay, kahit naman siguro sino, kapag yung ninahabol mo na parang aso, Eh, lalayuan ka ng lalayuan, okay? Hindi ka naman aso, girl. Huwag mo siyang habulin. Okay, especially when dealing with a man. Halimbawa, uh, o nga, sabihin na natin, naakit mo siya, ba? And he slept with you. After that, anong assurance mo that he will stay with you in this relationship? Wala. 
Okay, bakit nga ba tumatakbo ang mga lalaki sa ganitong klase ng babae, sa ganitong klase ng, excuse me, nice girl? Why does a man run from a situation like this? He runs because of the woman's behavior. The woman's behavior doesn't suggest that she places a high value on herself. Okay? Nagpapakita na siya agad na parang wala siyang respeto sa sarili niya. The relationship is new and the bond between them is just very shallow kasi bago pa nga lang tapos parang ibinigay mo ng lahat, ibinigay mo na yung best card mo. And that is your body, your dignity, and your honor. Diba? The fact that she is willing to overcompensate to a virtual stranger immediately suggests only two things according to the man. Either he'll assume that she is desperate or that she, he, uh, she is willing to give in or sleep with all men right away. Or pwedeng dalawa. Desperado siya at easy to get siya. So once a man begins to lose respect for a woman because she is willing to subtly devalue herself, he will also lose the desire to get closer to her. Alright? Kung ganyan ang nice girl, ang bitch is the opposite. A bitch or a dream girl, on the other hand, won't kill herself to impress anyone. If uh, a man asks for the sex, the bitch will just say, come on, go go and find something, someone else to do that. I am not like that. So, bye. Okay, hindi ka magbibigay agad-agad. Hindi mo agad yan ibibigay. Lalo na masyado pa kayong bago sa relasyon. Alright, next, attraction principle. A woman is perceived as offering a mental challenge to the degree that a man doesn't feel he has 100% hold on her. Okay, so in the beginning of a relationship, pay close attention to the courtship, yung panliligaw. Ngayon kung lalaki, hindi masyadong nag effort sa panliligaw sa'yo during the courtship, he is showing you right up front that he has nothing to offer to you in the future. Okay? Kung sa panaligo pa lang, hindi na siya nag effort Diba? Ano ba yung mga effort? Halimbawa, kahit pa paano, ay hindi lang naman kayo puro sa chat, puro sa text, puro sa messenger. May, may time na siya mismo ang mag, mag-open sa'yo na magkita kayo in a nice place, diba? Pwedeng public, or kayo lang dalawa. Pero yung mga effort na ganun, okay? Susunduin ka niya, yung mga ganong klase ng pag effort ng lalaki. Ngayon, kung sa stage pa lang ng panaligo, hindi na siya nag effort ano pa kaya ang may offer niya in the future sa'yo? Diba? This behavior has nothing to do with your work. Be it be, may it be you're a nice girl or you're a bitch. Nasa lalaki po yan. Okay? Ngayon, kung pag nice girl ka, okay, pwede kang magsabi na siguro hindi siya nag effort kasi hindi ako deserve, deserving ng ganyan. Hindi ko deserve. Baka hindi pa ako sapat para sa kanya. Hindi na nakikita na I'm worthy of of his love. Nako, nako, nako. Kini-question mo na yung sarili mo, girl. Yeah, I know you're a nice girl, pero bakit kailangan sa sarili mo ibunton yung pagkakamaling yun ng lalaki? Kapag bitch ka kasi, on the other hand, iba ang message niya. Sabi ng bitch, who I am is enough. Take it or leave it. Okay, tingnan mo yung comparison doon. Yung nice girl, you question your worth. Yung bitch, no. This is me, I am enough, I am worthy. So kapag ang lalaki ay hindi nag effort siya ang may problema at hindi ako. Okay? So tiyan mo yung comparison. I'll give you example. Habang early pa yung stage ng pagiging mag-boyfriend-girlfriend ninyo, ang nice girl would always ask, O ba't hindi ka tumawa? Please return my call. Diba? Ang bitch, on the other hand, tatawag lang siya sa lalaki kapag free niya, pag free time niya. Hindi siya yung palaging mag-message na, uy, ano na, pati hindi ka sumasagot, ganyan. That's for the nice girl. Ang bitch is iba. Kung meron lang siyang time, saka siya mag-message. Lalaki ang mag-message at maghahanap sa kanya. See? Another one. Pag sinabi ng lalaki na, oh, kailangan ko ng kasama dito sa bahay or sa boarding house or ano, ang nice girl ay, aba, agad-agad pumupunta. Diba? Kinakalimutan lahat ng mga priorities niya na nauna kasi pupunta niya yung lalaki. Ang bitch is different. She only sees him when it's convenient for her. Kapag free, free siya, hindi niya kasama ang mga friends niya or wala siyang ginagawa, then he will go and see him. Okay? Pero yung 
may ginagawa ka, tapos pag tinawag ka ng boyfriend mo, pupunta ka dito, ganyan-ganyan, agad-agad kang pupunta, no, 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 no. Nagpapakita ka lang na makokontrol ka agad ng lalaki in the beginning of your relationship. Okay? Another, final example. When he does call her, she is mad she didn't call sooner. Yan ang nice to. Kapag tumaw, alimbawa, hindi tumawag ng lalaki ng matagal, tapos tumawag na siya. Magtatanaw ang nice girl, bakit ngayon ka lang tumawag? Ano ba, bakit uh, ang tagal-tagal mong hindi nagparamdam and all that nagging? A bitch will not do that. A bitch, when, when he calls her, when the man calls a bitch, ang lalaki nagtatanong sa kaniya, sandali, bakit hindi ka nag-message sa akin? Okay? Sasabihin naman ng bitch na because nabisi ako, ganon, ganon ang difference nila. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ka kaagad-agad ang papakita na kaya kang kontrolin ng lalaki especially in the, in the beginning stage of your relationship alright, let's go to the next attraction ito, remember this girls sometimes a man deliberately won't call just to see how you'll respond may mga lalaki nag, uh, tinit, they're testing the waters kung hanggang saan ka bibigay okay? isa yun sa mga uh, defense mechanism din nila or yung pag-check din nila kung anong assurance meron sila sa relationship. Okay, so, hindi naman sabi na lalaki, kailangan ko ng assurance, excuse me, magsistay ka ba sa relationship natin? No. Uh, ito test ka niya. So, isang mga kuha ninyo ng, yung parang hindi ka muna niya tatawagan, or busy siya, or something like that. Kapag uh, nice girl ka, mangungulit ka, panay text ka, magka-text blast ka pa, eh, may message mo siya sa lahat ng socials niya, or, ah, uh, i-stalk mo lahat ng accounts. Eh, bakit hindi pa siya tumatawag? Anong nagawa niya? Ganon, ganon, ganon. Okay, that's what a nice girl would do. Pero ang bitch, no. Hindi na yan gagawin. Bahala yung lalaki kung ayaw niya magparamdam. Alam niya kung bakit? Marami pang options. Hindi niya kailangan makipaghabulan uh, sa lalaking yon para lang sabihin kailangan niya ng boyfriend. No. A bitch will not devalue herself. Instead, sabihin yung sarili niya, okay, busy siya, baka pwede rin mabisi ako sa iba. Ganon. Di ba? Next. It is your attitude about yourself that a man will adopt. Okay, pwede namang uh, reverse. Pwede rin attitude ng lalaki, tapos, or attitude ng babae. So, it's a, it works in the same, uh, in the same gender, any gender at all. A beautiful woman can make herself look ugly in the eyes of a man, if she is very insecure, yung tama yun. Ngayon, he pursued you, therefore, he finds you attractive. Understand that a demeanor and confident attitude will convince him you're gorgeous. Ang mga nice girl kasi, magka-question pa sila sa sarili nila, maganda ba ako? Or baka mas maganda yung ex niya? Or mas may mas magandang babae dyan, bakit ako? Yung mga ganun. Pero kapag you have that bitchy attitude, at alam mo sa sarili mo, may tsura naman ako ah. So, ibig sabihin, niligawan mo ako, you find me attractive. So, why would I question my self-worth? Okay? Next. Act like a prize and you'll turn him into a believer. Eto. A woman also demeans herself when she compares herself to another woman. Yan ang mahirap sa, especially pag nag-umpisa pa lang yung stage ng relationship ninyo. Insecure ka sa i-stock mo pa lahat ng mga naging ex ng boyfriend mo. Kasi i-compare mo na yung sarili mo sa kanila. Ah, oh, mas malaki yung ganito niya, mas, mas maputi siya, and all that. When you compare yourself to others, you demean yourself. Okay? A bitch will not do that. When you compare yourself to her, you are a different person. You are your own person. You're incomparable. Okay? Kailangan tanggapin mo na may mga taong mas maganda sa'yo, mas sexy sa'yo. Okay? And it's, it's okay. It's fine. Tama, di sabi ng manok ko, oo, oh, oo oh, oh, nga. Diba? Kasi, nagustuhan ka niya, niligawan ka niya, pursue ka niya, ibig sabihin, attracted siya sa'yo. So, bakit may ka-question na, pangit ka? Hindi ka pangit, girl. Okay? Don't let on when you feel threatened by another attractive woman who walks into the room. Ito, ito, halimbawa, mag-date kayo. May date kayo, tapos, may babaeng pumasok na maganda, mas sexy sa'yo. Tapos sabi mo sa kanya, titignan mo na siya kung ano mag reaction ng lalaki. Tapos tum tumingin yung lalaki din sa babae. Tapos, ikaw naman, magnanag ka na. As a nice girl, parang sabi mo na, 
bakit ka tumingin sa kanya? Hindi pa ba ako sapat na tingnan mo on all that situation nagging? Okay, parang hindi tama. Ang gawin mo, uh, instead of you being insecure on the girl who just came into the room, huwag mong pansinin. Huwag mong magpapahalata na insecure ka. Isipin kasi niya na, ah, okay, so, pwede ko pala siyang pagsilosen, pag nagkatong, kasi insecure sa mga itong tao, sa mga itong babae. So, ikaw naman, sabi mo sa sarili mo, no. E di, ako, ano ngayon kung may pumasok na mas sexy sa kanya? Okay, ano ngayon kung mas, uh, mas malaki yung boobs niya kasi sa'yo? Okay lang yan, you know? Hindi naman yan sa boobs ang lahat ng ano ng relationship. Alright? Eto, pag ang ang babae, ang, ang nice girl, at sabi niya yan sa lalaki, you should accept me for who I am. Okay? No, 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 sister. Slap yourself. He should want you madly. Acceptance has nothing to do with it. He ex- If he accepts a doormat, he would desire the dream girl. If he wants acceptance, go to a self-help group. Hindi yung sabi mo, isashove mo sa mukha ng lalaki na tanggapin kung sino ka. No. Kailangan mag-compromise ka rin. Okay, hindi palagi na ikaw lang lagi yung uh, mag- Hindi, ganito ako eh. So, tanggapin mo na ako. No. Kailangan marunong kang i-control kung ano yung mga insecurities mo, yung mga masasamang ugali mo. Huwag mo masyadong ipapakita agad-agad. Okay? Next. Mag-subscribe po muna kayo sa, sa channel ko for more of contents like this. Next principle of attraction. The biggest variable between a bitch and a woman who is too nice is fear. The bitch shows that she's not afraid to be without him. Okay, when a man is slightly afraid of losing a woman, his excitement is peaked. His psyche is like a plant. It needs water but also air to breathe. To give a man too much reassurance too soon is the same as overwatering a plant. It kills it. So, kapag ang lalaki ay parang masyamun mo nang kinonvince na mamamatay ako kapag mawala ka, hindi ko kaya kapag mawala ka, parang masasakal sila, parang wala na silang, parang iisipin nila, ah, dependent ka pala sa akin, so I can do whatever I want, kasi hindi mo naman kami iiwan. Gets nyo? A bitch will not do that. Hindi siya magpapakita na ng dependence sa lalaki. Okay? Independent thinker siya, may sarili siyang buhay, may sarili siyang pag-iisip. She is her own person. Right? Alright, this one is the uh, last attraction that I like. If the, if the choice is between her dignity and having a relationship, the bitch will prioritize her dignity above all else. Okay? The bitch remains the person she is throughout her relationship with a man. Hindi niya binabago ang sarili niya just to please the man. Binago niya ang sarili niya or improved her attitude because she is inspired to do so. She wants to become a better version of herself. Pero dahil lang sa isang lalaki, yung nice girl ay mag, mag-iiba ng ugali, magpapakamahinhin kahit hindi naman, magpapakamature, magpapakatawag na ito, magbibigay lahat ng gustong hilingin ng lalaki kahit hindi naman niya nagugustuhan, nawawalan ka na po ng respeto sa sarili mo. Ngayon, she, a bitch does not lose her friends. She doesn't give up on her career or hobbies. Diba? She doesn't give, uh, doesn't give up all her time or bend over backward. Unlike the nice girl, she is not too tolerant of disrespect. Kasi marami sa relationship yung kapag sinabi ng boyfriend mo na huwag kang bukusama sa mga barkada mo ha, gusto ko yung time mo sa akin lang. Or itigil mo yung pag-vlog mo, hindi maganda, hindi nakakatulong. No. Ang nice girl gagawin lahat ng gusto ng lalaki. A bitch will not do that. Okay, a bitch is her own self. She will not lose friends and she will not give up on her career just to please a man. Alright. Sige, let's conclude that part, you know, redefining the word bitch. It's a, just a term of endearment, okay? Endearment lang yun. A babe who is in total control of herself. Ngayon, mayroon mga karakteristik sa isang bitch. Tingnan natin if you fall under these characteristics. Okay, number one, she maintains her independence. It doesn't matter kung CEO ka or waitress ka lang or ganito lang yung trabaho mo. Ang importante, may trabaho ka. You have your own earning. You, you, you have an honest living. 
So, pwede kang tumayo sa sarili mong pangapaa kahit wala na, mawalan ka man ng lalaki sa buhay, kaya mong mabuhay. Yes, yes daw, sabi ng manok. Number two, she doesn't pursue him. Hindi niya hinahabol. Hindi siya nagahabol kasi hindi naman siya aso. Hindi niya ginagawang mundo yung lalaking yun. Okay? I agree, sabi ni manok. Ito manok ko talaga eh. Number three, she is mysterious. You know, there's a difference between honesty and disclosure. Hindi niya lahat dinidivulge sa boyfriend niya. Hindi niya lahat sinasabi. Meron nag-iiwan siya ng para sa sarili niya. She is honest but does not reveal everything. Okay? Hindi, para meron pang, you know, kahit pa paano, in, in the long run of your relationship, may malalaman na, na, mga, na mga bagay sa'yo yung boyfriend mo. Hindi lang ibinigay mo na lahat. Ipinaalam mo na lahat. Okay, mas exciting pa rin sa lalaki na, okay, nalalaman niya, ah, okay, ganito ka pala, so ganito ka pala, and all the jazz. Next. She leaves him wanting, okay? She doesn't see him every night or leave long messages on his machine. She isn't on a first name basis with his secretary in one week. Men equate longing with love. Longing is good. So parang hindi, may nagpapamiss ka. Alam mo yun? Yung mga bitch kasi parang, hindi nila, hindi sila agad-agad nagpupunta kung gusto ng lalaki or pag nanami-miss nila, pupunta nila agad. No. He keeps the man wanting. Kasi meron kang ibang trabaho, may iba kang priority. So, uunahin mo din yung mga priority na yon Sunod na yung boyfriend mo. Hindi mo siya gagawing mundo. Next, she doesn't let him see her sweat. She keeps communication from getting messy and avoids communicating when upset. When she clears her head, she is succinct and speaks in a bottom line way. Hindi siya nagnanag. Hindi siya yung parang nagbe-break down kapag nag-confrontation kayo. Ang bitch kasi parang kinokontrol yun ng emotions niya. Kinokontrol niya na, ah, galit pa ako ngayon. So, mamaya na tayo mag-usap kung clear na yung mind ko. And then, pag nag-usap na kayo, then your uh, way of talking, your way of talking will be more peaceful. ba? Diba? She maintains in control. Uh, she remains in control of her time. She takes it slowly, especially when he wants to hurry. Yan. She moves to her rhythm, not his, preventing him from taking control of her. So kapag hindi pa ready ang babae at uh, pressure na ng lalaki into sexual acts, ang nice girl magpapapressure agad, bibigay. Pero ang bitch hindi. She will give in if it's the right time, and she finds out if the man is worthy. Okay. Next. She maintains a sense of humor. You know, a sense of humor lets him know she is detached. However, she doesn't treat disrespect as a laughing matter as well. Kahit pa paano, marunong pa rin siyang mag... She still has uh, uh, friends to be with na, you know, yung sense of humor nila ay sa kanila pa rin, hindi yan magbabago. Okay, yung pagiging uh, joker niya in some way ay hindi babaguhin ng lalaki. Sabihin masyadong tumawa ng ganyan, hindi bagay sa'yo or something. Tatawa kasi, kasi gusto mo. Kasi alam mong, masaya ka. Di ba? Next, she places a high value on herself. When he gives her a compliment, she says thank you. Hindi na, binobola mo na ako ah. Pero kung alam mong, deserve mo naman yung praise na yun, say thank you. She doesn't talk him out of it. Uh, she doesn't ask what the ex looked like and he doesn't compete with other women. Ito. Kung meron ng mga ex-girlfriend yung boyfriend nyo, huwag ka na magtanong ng tanong kung paano sila, ano sila, paano nila inalo yung relationship na, bakit sila nag-iwal na, yan, all that. Ex na nga yun eh, tapos na. Ikaw ang present ngayon. Be in the moment. Ikaw ang dapat center of attention ng buhay niya, hindi yung mga ex niya. So huwag ka na magtanong ng magtanong about them. Next, she is passionate about something other than him. Meron siyang trabaho, or nag-aaral siya, meron siyang hobby. Okay? Hindi yung babae na walang ibang ginagawa, kundi ang bantayan, or kamustahin, or kausapin ng mga boyfriend nila. Dapat ikaw mismo, sarili mo, as a woman, you have other passions other than romantic love. Okay? Meron kang business, siguro nagsistart kang mag- Uh, meron kang self-help group, ganyan. 
focus on something else other than your boyfriend. Hindi maganda na siya lang ang ginagawa mo mundo sa buhay mo. And of course, lastly, she treats her body like a fine-tuned machine. Na hindi niya kailangan maging sing sex ni iba na alawi. Okay? She just maintains her appearance and her health. Hindi lang siya nagmumukhang lotion. Okay? A person's self-respect is reflected in how he or she maintains physical appearance. If he tells her he doesn't he doesn't like red lipstick, she wears it anyway. It makes her feel good. Yun nang ano dyan. Hindi ka magpapadikta sa lalaki kung anong pwede mong isuot, anong gusto mong color ng lipstick, anong makeup, anong klaseng makeup ang gusto mo. Nagustuhan ka niya, uh, nung nakita ka niya, that you are already like that. Ngayon, kung babaguhin mo ang sarili mo para i-please lang siya, para mag-stay siya sa relationship, then you devalue yourself. Kung babaguhin mo man ang sarili mo, it is for your own good. It's for a better version of you. Alright? Diyan po nagtatapos ang ating video ngayong araw. Mga palangga, mga sangkay, sana yung may natutunan kayo sa video na to ha. So, kung sino man kayo dun sa dalawa, sino kayo? Are you the bitch or are you the nice girl? Comment down below para mabasa ko naman. Maraming salamat ha. To learn more about the book, you can buy a copy from Amazon or eBay or meron dito sa Shopee at saka sa Lazada. Grab a copy and enjoy reading. Until the next video po, sana samahan nyo na rin nyo pa rin ako ha. Kahit na medyo, kasi bago pa na ako sa YouTube. At pag nagtsaga kayong samahan ako ay aba, ibabalik ko po sa inyo ng mas magagandang mga topic ang gagawin kong video sa susunod. Maraming salamat mga sangkay. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thank you!